In this video, I will be teaching you how to UV map and texture in Blender 2.8. First, here is a quick speed model of me making the cookie. I will be teaching you how to use Project From You in this video and what that is is you pick a view that you want and then you unwrap it from that view. So to stir you want to make sure you're in face selection mode and then select all of the top cookie and then what you want to do is click this blue Z so it takes you to the top view and so when you do that you can see how much of the cookie you need to have selected I don't need the bottom or the um, faces right above it selected for this because I can do that for the bottom of the cookie so I'm deselecting them now so I don't have to go and redo that later Now that I have all the faces I want, I'm going back into top view, clicking U on my keyboard, and then clicking project from view. Now you go to the UV editing, and what you can do now is you can click A to select the whole thing. You can click S to scale it up and down and click this little moving tool thing to move it around so you can put your other UVs on there as well. Finally for UV mapping you want to repeat this step for the bottom of the cookie and the chocolate chips. Just make sure when you're repeating this step you don't have any of the top part selected and you always use the different views so you're in the exact angle and it's looking straight on to the object. Now that you've finished unwrapping everything for the cookie, you want to go and make sure the placement of all of them is in a good spot so they're not overlapping. The way to do this is go into edit mode A and then UV edit and you can see they're all overlapping. So what you just got to do is go in and just get all the faces and move them. I forgot to mention this before, but I use circle select, which is C, and alt right click to get the faces I want selected. It's just easier that way.
Okay, so now you want to resize it. Click New, change the size to 256 by 256 if you want it in UGC limits. If not, you can do whatever size, just make sure the same. Next, click UV and export UV selection. Save the UV into your texture folder so it's easy to find. And then open up whatever design and software you use or paint software. But before that, make sure to add a texture with the same exact size as your UV map and you change the background to whatever. You can click where this little picture frame button over here and click the white and that's basically what your material looks like right now or your texture. Open up whatever app you use to draw. I'm using paint.net and I'm just opening up my UV map that I saved in my folders. I was having a bit of a hard time finding it so that's why it kind of took so long. So just try to stay organized and it'll be easy enough. Now that you have your UV map, what you want to do is add a new layer and basically just color over it. Make sure the black lines are shown at the end. And honestly, that's basically it. Then once I'm done, I'll tell you how to save it and put it back into Blender. Now that you're done your texture, make sure to save it as the texture, I say mine as cookie texture. Go and click replace, find your texture, click it, and then open it. And it should replace the one that was there before like this. If you can't see your texture, you can go to the materials tab and it should be there, which is just the little globes at the top right. You can just click those and mess around basically. If you wanted to do it in Blender, you just play around with the settings here and it would draw on it, but I'd rather use like a designer software like Paint.net um, because I'm used to it. 